Hey guys, I'm Ouroboros. Let's play Persona 5 Royal. It is May 29th, and Mishima says it is just as crowded as he expected. The perfect, perfect place to start our investigation. So, so this is what happens when you accept a, an invitation the day before. You'll just go straight there the day of. Anyway, what else does he have to say? But I gotta say, I wasn't expecting all of you to come along. I had a photo shoot nearby, so I figured, why not? But why Harajuka, Mishima? Well, Harajuku is this big cultural hub, right? People from all over the world come here. So that means there might be all kinds of international villains walking around in broad daylight. I don't know if I get that logic. Uh, for example... Oh, check out that guy. He's definitely suspicious. I mean, who wears black leather long coats at this time of year? He's gotta be shady. And all those belts must be supplies so he can tie people up. Jesus Christ, Mishima. Oh man, do you think he's an escaped convict? No, I'm pretty sure that's just a goth style. But my phantom thief senses are tingling. Don't you think he's suspicious, Amamiya? You're... uh... Tingling? Interesting choice of words. Well, I mean, because I'm the phantom aficionado website admin and... Look, that's, that, that's not important. You know what I mean. If you think he's that suspicious, then go talk to him. Huh? Me? You're the one who's all hyped up about this investigation, right? So hey, go up to the guy and ask, Yo, Captain Trenchcoat, sorry to bother you, but are you an escaped convict? What? You've gotta be kidding! He'd have that belt around my neck before I even finished talking. Ah, <sighs> it's normal to see people dressed in unusual clothes here. Honestly, I think it's kinda cool. Like, they've got the confidence to wear whatever they want, you know? Like, nothing's gonna keep them from expressing their own style. Cool or not, they're definitely not letting anyone hold them back. What do you think about unique fashion like this, Ren? Well, I'm not a fan of it. I mean, if you want to do that, more power to you. Not really my thing. I really just like jeans and a t-shirt and sometimes shorts if the weather's hot enough. But Ren, Ren wants to try it. Whoa, really? I guess we can spend the day transforming you. I'm thinking heart-shaped glasses, dye your hair red and blue, and we'll get you a big puffy laminated coat. You just want to make him wear the weirdest stuff you can find. I'll coordinate Ren's wardrobe. Huh. We could go for a bad boy look. Really not going to help us out at school. Or maybe something princely. That's a little more like it. You've got good potential, so this should be fun. Anyway, no more judging people by their appearance. If they're wearing what they want to wear, that's something to admire. Heck, I'd say it means they're honest. Not like, not like people who seem who seem nice on the outside but turn out to be terrible. That sounds familiar. Definitely not talking about Mika there. Anyway, I guess you're right. Lady On is absolutely right. Yeah. After all, I look like a cat, but I'm actually a dashing noble gentleman. You keep telling yourself that, Mona. Now that I think about it, it's kind of Harajuka-y to walk around with a cat in a bag. True, he's like a really specialized fashion accessory. That's all you are, Morgana. You're just fashion. No, it's not a compliment. I guess you're lucky, Ren. You can get popular just by having me around. So, Mishima, I take it you didn't actually have any leads here. Nope. Awesome, dude. Ah, <sighs> yeah, figures. Well, as long as we're here, let's have some fun. Then let's get Ren all dressed up. Oh, and Mishima, too. Maybe On can get rid of your weird anti-Harajuka prejudice. <gasps> huh? Me, too. Actually, if I've got any hidden talent for fashion... This be the perfect chance to discover it. Lady on, la why do you say it twice? Help me get all fashionable to you're a cat. All right, we can squeeze in a trip to the pet store for Morgana. No. Yes, you are. You are a pet, Morgana. You know, Amamiya, sometimes it sounds like your cat's really joining in on the conversation. Then let's get going. Just follow me. I know a place. All right, let's go. It's all you, Miss Fashionista. I enjoyed Harajuku with everyone. Yeah, that'd be a good trip. Mishima kind of... What, fifth wheeling if you count Morgana? But he's just excited. He seems like an okay person, you know? Oh, yeah, we're... Oh, we've got the cleanup tomorrow. No, I didn't forget. Kawakami said there'd be a community cleanup event. Awesome. Super looking forward to that. Picking up trash. Yusuke, any changes yet? How's Matarame? Nothing at the moment. He's still bedridden. Wait, you think this was too much for that old bastard's heart? There's no need to worry. His life does not appear to be in any danger. Hope we didn't F up on our first official mission. Can he talk at all? So far, all he said to me is, I'm sorry. I haven't been able to speak to him since, though. He's in no state to hold a conversation. 
for real? Yes, Ryuji, for real. If he ends up taking legal action against us, our leader will be in big trouble. You're under probation, correct? That would be problematic. Hey, we're gonna be okay, aren't we? You know, I think we'll be okay, for sure. For real? Friend says so? I'm sure it's true. I will contact all of you if any progress is made. Let's just wait for the change of heart for now. Yeah, well, this... Well, we'll be waiting for your updates, Yusuke. We'll be okay. And the home shopping channel is on today. So, for home shopping, uh, it's time to do some. So, we've got a few things. The first thing is the Japanese gift set, which will give you three gifts for confidants. We don't need this because I'm using a guide. Uh, second thing gives you an accessory, the folding screen set. That'll give you an accessory that increases the chance to dodge electric attacks and one accessory that will increase the chance to dodge wind attacks, which can be helpful. Uh, for certain party members, Ryuji and Morgana, since they're weak to those. But that's really the only useful one, at least for this playthrough. If you're on a blind playthrough or whatever, getting the Confidant gets, gifts could be helpful, just because you don't know the right answers. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and head to Shibuya. Let's go to the walkway, I think it is. Yeah, it's the walkway. And we're going to go ahead and get a drink because it is Sunday. And you know what that means. I guess it's Sunday in-game, it's not Sunday in the real world. I wish I could have lined those up to where, like, the day, the day of the week in-game would have lined up with the day of the week in real life. I couldn't really get that to sort out. I think I checked if Golden, and then I didn't consider doing Reload just because I hadn't played it yet. I don't think it would have worked out very well. Plus, I'm sure there were 100% guys that weren't really open yet. Um... But I tried to get the days of the week to line up, and it just didn't really work out. But, we do have a text from Ryuji today. Yo, short time no see. Yeah, we just saw you. I know we just decided to split up a second ago, but there's a movie I gotta go see. If you're not busy, we could go see it in Shibuya right now. It's The Cake Night Rises. It's an action flick, what do you say? So, Confidants will invite us to go to the movies with us, and we will be accepting... I don't know if we'll accept all of them, but we will go see every movie. And this is a good chance for us to not only see the movie, but also gain some confidant points on the side. So, we are going to go see this, so let's go see it. That settles it then. I'll meet you in front of the movie theater in Shibuya. Oh yeah, the cake night rises. Let's see what this is all about. Do you want to know why I use pies? Cakes are too quick. You can't savor all the little taste sensations. You see, when forced to choose cake or pie, people show you their true taste. I am nothing like you. You're a psychopath who bakes for money. I love these movies. They're so goofy. Is that the end of it? Everything about this movie, it's absolutely ridiculous. But the protagonist's passion to fight for his friend, that really touched me. And we were able to learn a little bit about compassion. That is three points in kindness, I believe. Yes, it is. But like I said, these movies are so goofy and they're all spoofs off of like real night movies. Obviously, obviously this is The Dark Knight Rises, but damn, I might have teared up a little bit. These revenge movies really make you feel, you know? How about you? Don't these revenge movies make you feel something? Yeah, sure. Whatever you say, Ryuji. Right? right? This is, this is the kind of thing the Phantom Thieves are doing too. All right, let's let's get going. It was fun kicking it with you today. I agree. But let's go to bed for now. <laughs>